Hello, happy new year. I, um, you know, I've been like looking at what people have been posting because everyone's kind of posting what they are hoping that they're able to walk into in this new year, whether it's goals, resolutions, vision, and a lot of comments I get when I'm talking with women either in business or starting out a business or in the past, it was even homeschooling. Um, how do I balance it all? And as they're thinking about this new year, they're thinking about the goals that they need to set in order to balance it all. And so then they think of like, what do I need to do to fix this? So if you don't know me, I'm Mo Spell. I am a transformational life coach for mompreneurs. I love to help women boldly build businesses that will impact their families, they will impact their community, and they impact the world. And so I actually think that this question, how do I balance it all, is a normal question. Like I would not, it would be something totally if you're starting something new, I would expect that your brain would go there. How am I going to do it? How am I going to balance this all? So I want to just share a few things about balance, about your brain, and like maybe another awareness part on why we even go there first, right? So moms, we know that we carry a lot of... Um, tasks, a lot of mental load, a lot of roles. And so when we are stepping in to something new, like starting a business, running a business, we are, our brain is wired for our survival, not our success. So it is going to automatically think of all the ways it can potentially, things could potentially go wrong. Um, and so it wants to make sure like this question, how am I going to be able to balance it all? is your brain safety response actually helping you make sure that what you're moving into is safe and secure. So that's the first awareness point I want you to have when you're thinking about how do I need to balance it all? And um, with that, the idea of balance is nebulous. Like, what does that even mean? What does balance mean? And that's the first question I really want you to reflect on. What am I telling myself balance means? A lot of times we tell ourselves balance means equal energy, equal time, equal um, priority for every aspect of my life. It all has to be equal. They need my energy, they need my time, um, they need my resources. Like that is balance. If I can just have it balanced. But there's also that idea of when I have it all balanced, then I will feel calm. I will feel a certain way, right? Because our brain is already looking. It's, this is a safety response question. And our brain is looking for a way that if we solve this first, we can guarantee we're going to feel a certain way and then everything will be all right. But when we don't have it all balanced out, we're going to go ahead and feel mom guilt. We're going to feel... Um, we're going to feel stressed. We're going to go ahead and feel overwhelmed. And then it will see, say, see, this wasn't a safe decision. So the idea of balance is really, it tends to be a black and white type thing. Like I'm either balanced, I'm either imbalanced or I'm not. This is either, I'm either showing up for my family or I'm showing up for my business. And that will wear you out that will wear you out. Balance, um, balance. A, a lot of times you have that image and this has been taught and I've seen this taught in business trainings all the time about balance being um, ha that, that guy who has all the spinning dishes on those poles, right? And they're spinning and he has to keep running to keep them from falling down. And so in our mind, that's what we're viewing our role as. We are that guy running ragged to spin those plates to make sure they don't crash. 
And that's the idea our brain has of balance. You guys right there, that's like life sucking. That's not life giving at all. I'm already setting myself up for failure, I'm kind of self-sabotaging here, thinking that that's going to be my role, running and having to keep, keep everything in place. Oh, that's actually um, a form of like control. I have, I have to make sure everything is happening. I have to make sure every area um, or else, you know, this isn't a good decision. This, you know, your brain's like, this wasn't safe, right? But I would say, what if there's a different way to reframe balance instead of it from being from our safety part of our brain that's trying to keep us safe, keep us back into what we know and what's familiar. What if we can reframe it as what are my priorities in this season? And how do I get more of my priorities into my calendar, into my time? And so then it's not how do I keep all the tasks and um, roles balanced, but it's giving yourself this freedom to say, okay, I'm starting a business. What are my priorities for my business? And don't go down to tasks. Priorities are different than tasks. Priorities line up with your values. They line up with the important things that you want from your business, okay? Tasks are the things that it will take to get there, to get some of those priorities done. For example, like if you have a priority, I want to create fun memories with my children, right? That's a priority. A task would be, okay, once a month, I'm going to make sure I pencil in a fun night, family fun night on my calendar. That's a task. And then later the task will be, okay, planning X, Y, and Z to make that family fun night possible. But asking yourself, what are the priorities that my family has right now in this season? That's the other thing about balance. We tend to make it be this nebulous thing that goes indefinitely. But that's not how our life is. That's not even how the world works. Like the world works in seasons. And so we have our physical season, fall, winter, spring, summer, and your family and your business function differently in each season, but there's also different seasons that your family is actually walking through and your business is walking through. And in each of those seasons, there's different priorities that demand your focus, your energy, your time. And being able to discern what season you're in and what those priorities are allows you to have the freedom to maybe have to put a little more time and energy in your business because you're starting it up. It doesn't mean you're neglecting your family. You've got some of those key priorities you know that you're focusing on, but you know that more of your energy is going here in this startup time, but it's not indefinite. It's not going to be what you would, your brain wants to say out of balance. It's not. Um, and so I want you to think through, first of all, what am I telling myself balance even means? Am I setting myself up for failure? Is this someone else's idea of what I should be or shouldn't be doing? And then break it down. Like, what are my priorities? What are my priorities in this season? Because we think that it has to look the same all the time. It doesn't. And here's the thing, like going back to that example of the guy just running to keep all the spinning plates from crashing. like. I hate that visual. That wears me out thinking, thinking if that is me trying to keep the balance. Instead, I like <clears throat> to picture a waiter. And you know how the waiter will carry the big tray and has all the dishes? And so I'm the tray. I'm the tray. I'm not the waiter. I'm the tray that's holding all those dishes. And those dishes are the different um, aspects, the different roles, the different tasks that are in my life right now that God's asked me to steward. But they're not separate. They're not on separate poles. They're all a part of my one life. They're all a part of who God is creating me to be and what he's asking me to walk through. They're all one. And so that means my business, when I'm working on my business, it is working for my family. When I am prioritizing or in having to maybe grow and work some character stuff with my kids, that is still working for my business. 
It's not this separate category, which that's what a lot of times we think balance is, is the separate categorization of my life. No, I'm the tray. And it's that, it's that those are just things that are part of my life. And if God is asked me to step in to that arena, he's the waiter holding it all together. It is not all up to me. Thank goodness. It is not all up to me to make it happen. My job, my job is first is to prioritize his presence. That's the first priority. You prioritize his presence, getting in his word, talking to him. Lord, what do I need to focus on? What do I need to prioritize this week with my kids and with my business? He will give you those strategies. And it's not to say that there aren't some skills that you will need to learn in order to fully step into what God's calling you. That should be expected. But when we think about how do I balance it all, we go straight to the skills. We go straight to the time management to be the solution to answer that question of how do I balance it all, which is not a fair question because it's coming from our security part of our brain. Instead, it's like, okay, Lord, what are the priorities you have for me and my family in this season, for me in in my, my business? What does that look like? You're holding me up. I'm not having to make Sure, I'm holding, I'm making all the plates spin and not crash. I am, um, Proverbs 16, verse three, I'm committing, that's rolling onto your shoulders. He's holding me up. I'm rolling everything on. He's holding it up. Committing to the Lord, what you do in your plans will succeed. That does not mean I pick my plans first and say, hey, Lord, here's my plans. I'm committing them to you. No, it means when you prioritize your time with him, he starts to renew your thinking, renew your spirit, renew your, your, how you see things, right? So that your thoughts are agreeable to his will. And so then it's not this idea of balance. It's an idea more of a journey he's asking you to walk on and rely on him and grow because he's going to be growing you. I always say that the things that have grown, grown me most, marriage, parenting my children, homeschooling my children, running a business. Those things God has used as refinement to help me become more like him. I realize where's ways that I, um, you know, just fall short all the time, but he, he uses those to say, okay, like this is really isn't about your kids. This is about how you're responding to your kids. Or you know what? <clears throat> this business, you think it's just so that it'll bring finances, but it's not. It is to bring freedom and hope and get you in front of a whole different group of people than you never would have been if you didn't step into this arena. And so what if there's just, we can just nix this idea of balance and have more of this lens of priorities, seasons, and journey. If you looked at what you're stepping into from that framework, does that feel like a little more freeing and expansive? How does that feel? Like, what do you think about if you can actually just have the freedom to this being a journey? Have the freedom where there are seasons where it will look different than other seasons. Like what would that do for you starting off your new venture or for you up-leveling where you're at with your business or your family? And I know this is just like the beginning of a conversation on balance because there are some skills. Yes, there are some skills that we can utilize, but we've got to first start with what are we making balance mean? What are we really telling ourselves? Is that what we want to do? Is that how we want to focus? And it all starts there. And that's all part of renewing your mind. And if you've been a part of this group, you know, renewing your mind for me, it's not just coming up with a new thought, like reframing. We reframe balance there. Like the reframe was 
um, what are my priorities in the season, right? But it's reframing our thoughts based on God's word. That's where the real transformation happens. Um, one of the things that I have created is called the Mompreneur Mindset course. And it's a self-paced course, basically six modules where I kind of walk you through some of these key points to have the freedom with how do we make decisions? How do we show up? How do we make some decision-making filters that will help us get those priorities into our day, week, month, year? What does it need to look like? And that is almost my foundation course that um, will help you when your brain wants to say, oh my goodness, what did I get? What did I get into? How am I going to do this all? I mean, because that's usually what we, we say. I can't even have vision on what this could look like. That's right. You've never done it before. So your brain, brain actually has no reference except for past experiences and exposures. And it will pull it forth and say, ah, oh, this might be it, but that's not true. We can rewire our thinking, our thoughts, understand how we make our decisions because most of our decisions are made on a subconscious level without us even recognizing it and um, move to a point place where we are making these decisions based on our values, our priorities that God has like shown us and the goals he is asking us to take, to move into. Um, so if you're interested, I will leave a link below about that, but I really want to hear your thoughts on this topic because I know it's a big topic and it comes up because we, <clears throat> we operate in mom guilt and mom guilt serves no one. It doesn't serve us. It doesn't serve our family. And we think, um, that balance is the solution for mom guilt, but it's not. Balance is all actually the way to self-sabotage and even get more mom guilt. Um, but the solution for mom guilt is really knowing that what God has asked you to step into, he is going to call and equip you to do. He is your provider. He is your source, not you. It is not up to you to make the results happen. It's up to you to take the action he's asking you to take. But the results are up to him. And then there's freedom there because this becomes part of um, who you are in this season, what God's asking you to do. And it is not separate from who you are as a mom, as a wife, as a daughter of um, the king. It is all part instead of segmented. So I, I don't know, I, I got on here because this was on my mind after reading and just seeing some of the things coming across my social media feed. And um, I'm just curious, what do you think? What comes up for you in this area of it has to look all balanced? What are, have, what have you been telling yourselves? Um, and what, is, what do you feel like you need to know in order to feel, quote, balanced, right? I want to know that. Like, leave that in the comments. And how, like, it, did anything here, like, was it an aha? Or did it speak to you? Or are you like, I would like to hear a little bit more about that. 